Climate change is the single most important phenomenon in the world right now. It affects all of us, except that some of us get affected a little less. A United Nations report says that climate change will devastate the poor the most, while the rich will pay and get away. But now the richy rich of the world have come together to demand action from the G20 countries. And it's all happening with almost no time left for the summit to kick off in Japan because when it comes to global warming, the clock is ticking dangerously fast. This report tells you more. From Swedish schoolgirl Greta Thunberg to Extinction Rebellion. The older generations have failed tackling the biggest crisis. They just pat on our heads saying everything will be fine, don't worry. The cause of global warming has found many warriors. But now, a new one has emerged from a rather unlikely source, the world of financial markets. Investors managing more than $34 trillion in assets that's nearly half of the invested capital in the world, are demanding urgent action from governments of the world on climate change. Piling pressure on leaders of the world's 20 biggest economies meeting this week. Groups representing 477 investors have written an open letter addressed to the governments of the world. In the letter, they've demanded decisive action to achieve the Paris Climate Accords targets. Around 200 nations agreed in Paris in 2015 to limit the global average temperature rise to well below 2 degrees Celsius, which is already above pre-industrial times. However, current environment policies adopted by the governments have done little. The world is on track for at least a 3 degrees Celsius temperature rise by the end of the century. The group of investors is asking the G20 nations to phase out thermal coal power and fossil fuel subsidies by set deadlines and also set a robust global carbon price by the year 2020, that's next year. All this ahead of their summit meeting in Osaka. According to a United Nations backed panel of scientists, limiting global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius would cost at least $830 billion every year. But there are things that money can't buy, and that's why the cost of not taking action could be much higher. A UN human rights report has said that the world is on course for quote-unquote climate apartheid, where the rich buy their way out of the worst effects of global warming, while the poor bear the brunt. Because businesses and the private sector are set to be relied upon exclusively in climate change scenarios, which means only those with the money can escape the effects of climate change, like overheating. Which will lead to an over-reliance on private business. The poor will have no one to look after. Climate change could push more than 120 million more people into poverty by the year 2030. It will have the most severe impact in poor countries, regions and the places the poor people live and work because there are strong implications for basic human rights to life, food, housing and water. Scientists and climate activists have been ringing alarm bells on global warming since the 1970s. The warning signs come with great foreboding, but the time to act is now, otherwise it will elapse. Bureau Report, we on World is One.